To prevent getting hantavirus disease, make it difficult for rodents to live where you live using these simple and safe precautions. To keep your home clean, wash the dishes and clean the counters. This is particularly important at night because that's when the rodents are active and out looking for food. Also, keep the floors clean. And store food in rodent-proof containers. Keep a tight-fitting lid on the garbage, and in the evening discard any uneaten pet food. To control rodents inside your home, use continuous trapping efforts. Set the trap near the baseboard, because rodents usually run along a wall which provides them with a sense of security. If plague is a problem where you live, use flea spray prior to trapping. Seal all entry holes on the inside with steel wool or other patching materials. To prevent rodents from coming inside, it's also necessary to seal any holes on the outside. Clear brush and grass from around foundations to eliminate a possible source of nesting material and use metal flashing around the base of the house to provide a strong metal barrier. The closer mice live to your house, the more likely they are to find a way inside. Control rodents on the outside of your house as well. Totally eradicating rodents is not really practical, but with continuous effort, you can keep the rodent population very low. The fewer rodents there are, the less likely you are to be exposed. In addition to the regular use of traps, poisons or odenticides may be used. But be sure to keep them out of the reach of children and pets. Encourage natural predators such as non-poisonous snakes, owls, and hawks who play a major role in controlling rodent populations in the wild. Eliminate any possible nesting sites and food sources by elevating hay, wood piles, and garbage cans. Also, locate them 100 feet or more from your house. Store all animal feed in containers with lids. When you feed your pet, put out enough food for only one day. In the evening, discard any excess food and take up water bowls. Eliminate junk and other things that provide shelter to rodents. Another important aspect of preventing hantavirus is to always use safety precautions. Wear rubber gloves when cleaning or working in areas infested with rodents. Don't stir up and breathe dust. This happens when you vacuum or sweep up droppings, urine, or nesting materials. Instead, thoroughly wet contaminated areas with a detergent or liquid that deactivates the virus. This includes most general purpose disinfectants and household detergents. Heavily wetting the area with a disinfectant prevents the virus from being stirred up into the air. For cleaning large areas, you can mix one and one half cups of bleach with one gallon of water. Once everything is wet, take up contaminated materials with a damp towel then mop or sponge the area with disinfectant. Spray dead rodents and nesting materials with disinfectant. To dispose, place in double bags along with all cleaning materials. Then bury the bags, or burn them, or put them in the appropriate waste disposal system. If burying or burning is not feasible, contact your local or state health department about other appropriate disposal methods. Finally, disinfect your gloves with either disinfectant or soap and water. When going into cabins or outbuildings that have been closed for a while, open them up and let them air out before cleaning them. For heavy rodent infestations, seek help from professional exterminators or contact your local health authorities. These safety precautions also apply to your vacation or where you work, because rodents can go anywhere. In conclusion, make it difficult for the rodents to live where you live by keeping your home clean. 
and by controlling rodent populations on the inside as well as the outside of your home. But above all else, use safety precautions to protect yourself. And remember that your chances of getting hantavirus disease are very low, but the consequences of getting it are very serious.